Today we've come to visit the Heimer, Owen Heimer Museum in Bad Balsee. And we just come in and it's going to take us through all the years, different types of caravans and motorhomes and camper vans I expect. Uh, yeah, that's, uh, come and join us on our journey. So the Mercedes-Benz Cabriolet, what a beautiful car, and look at this caravan on the back, English caravan, I don't know, I'm just going to zoom out a bit, English caravan, Coventry Steel Caravans, it is ginormous, 1949 this is married. Just look inside. It's like, it's like a hotel room, like a hotel suite. So we've just done the Alps and now we're in the Italian route. It's actually a very good museum. Trailer tent, 1938. Oh, look at that bed, you can get a family of five in there. This nice little camping car. That's probably where the term comes from. Open your boot, get in, lie down. 1954. What a beautiful car. Shouldn't still make them like that now. Nineteen fifty seven this caravan. Moved on a bit, got a double bed at the front, heater, kitchen, and double bed at the back. What more do you need? So look at the size of this car, absolutely stunning. Two seater, oh no, four seater. Two little kids, wouldn't be able to take a lot with you though. And there's your little caravan on the back, 1956. Oh my goodness, <laughs> look at that. It's just a bed on wheels. Uh, daughter's favorite car, Fiat 500, my first car. That's a bit more modern than this. But you wonder sometimes why they actually change them because that is absolutely stunning. And it's big enough to pull a caravan. Look at that. It looks, actually, it looks like a little horse box, to be honest with you. Horse box? Let's have a look. It's got a sink, cooker. I'm just going to widen angle. Look at that. And now we're moving up a level or two. 1959. Look at that. Isn't that stunning? Craftsmanship on that. There's actually a roof deck, terrace. Oh, someone's left a bikini. Let's have a look inside. Wowza. Full fit kitchen. It's better than our home we have now. Look at the badge in it. BMW. Ah, 
Our first van was a Westphalia. And this is a 1956 Westphalia 2 camper, camping caravan. And that's absolutely stunning. Look at that, it's even got a fridge in them days. Heimer. Looks remarkably like an oversized Volkswagen. Wow. This is what you call a travel van. Look at the stuff they've got in here. They've even got the engine in. Oh God, look at that. Proper adventure wagon. I think it's just the paint that's holding it together. Volkswagen T1. Split screen. Amazing. A beautiful car. But equally a beautiful car on the back. Long beds for the kids. Three fit kitchen. Dining room. Double bed for the parents. Let's see. Party Luxus 600, 1967. Now this one is amazing. It looks like an aeroplane. Not very wide, but still got everything you need. Kitchen. Double bed. I presume that's a... I don't know what's in there. German Trabant with a roof tent. Quite a few different variations of the old caravans, but they're so small, but they're so well laid out. Double beds, kitchens. I suppose if you live simply, what well, actually more do you need? 1986, it looks like something from another planet. Back to the future. It's same again. Kitchen, dining, double bed, cupboards, you name it. It's all in there. Nineteen seventy-six. In old East Germany. Two beds, two bed. It's about the size of a large wheelie bin. I'm like slightly exaggerating, but you know. Kitchen. And double bed. Open roof. Now we're heading down the Moroccan route. Tour the Sahara. Renault Dauphine. There's a little caravan on the back. Nice old Mercedes Benz with a caravan on the back. Look at that. Mercedes. Swivel seat at the front. That's one with the toilet, sink and shower maybe in there, kitchen, lounge and double bed. Mobile 1973s, Mercedes base, looks like they just stuck a caravan on the back. Wow. 
Look how much space you've got. I presume there's going to be a bathroom down the corner there. Let's stick a camper on the back of a pickup. 1974. Now you'll probably still see some of these on the road. Not many, but you'll still see some. Just look at that, Mercedes. Fantastic. But the engine still works, going strong. So we look inside. Decorating here and there. Americans being Americans have to be bigger and better. Size of the car that's pulling their caravan. And we have an airstream. Looks like about 50 meters long. Obviously it's not, but it looks it. Let's have a look inside. Oh, it looks like we're allowed in this one. It's ginormous. It's like a proper bathroom at the back. Bed in the middle, kitchen, another bed down in here. What makes these unique and stand out is the aluminium. And we've got air conditioning on the roof. 1969. That must be an add on, surely. 81 Hammer Mobile. Mercedes based. Look at that. Right, I'm just going to zoom out. Mrs. C, what are you doing? You can't have one. Wicked, she says. Oh my goodness, look at the colour color, colours in here. My God, you'd have to do something with that. But, you know, if you want it to stay original. Ford Transit. Oh, no, it's not working anymore. All them stickers. This has been an adventure wagon by the looks of it. Mm, proper bathroom and shower, look at that. Big bed above the cab. Kitchen. Dining, another double bed. Heimer, Heimer car. So this could be the first, 1982. This could be the first full picnic slips. Heimer camper van. Not a mobile home. Wow, big bed upstairs. That'll pull out to be a double as well, as I thought. Traumatic SW heating, sink, cooker, fridge. Just it's almost the same as ours. I thought it was a Ford Transit. This is what we all dream about. The size of that beast. Absolutely ginormous. So there they are. It's like a massive amount of room inside, I'm not going to lie. Let's go up on this step. Ah, I see. chairs and there's steps up to the roof the roof lifts up and there's a bed up there overall great museum we spent a couple of hours and really enjoyed it if you're in the area and you have time it's well worth a visit